Um, Fred, Dow, Fred, you worked with her trying to get the Philippines open, and you're always bragging on her to me. Do you want to share how far, how much Lucy went out of the way to help you, and then what? Then I'll tell you what we're going to get from Lucy this morning. Fred may have fallen off, but Lucy helped him in the Philippines, ship stuff, flew there for him, everything. We're just not open to the Philippines yet, by the way. We 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 didn't we didn't come up with a solution yet, but we're still working on it. So if anybody's trying to get there, give us a minute. But um, but but what's going on right now is uh, this whole group of leaders, Lucy. Every day now, I'm getting texts about Thailand, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand. There are people now signing up consistently in those areas. So we just want you to pretend like we know nothing yeah. and tell us, kind of go through the countries that we are opening over there, what products are op are available and in what countries, the different dynamics of working, just anything you think we want to know. And then we may take about 10 minutes. Let me put those questions in the chat for you. And it's all you, Lucy. Oh, well, thank you. And I probably need to send Fred some money just so he keeps promoting. <laughs> 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 so starting up a new country is a very complicated thing to do. Um, but the good news about Partnico, and one of the reasons why I even joined Partnico was the fact that we had a base in 50 countries. And uh, when I was recently with with um, all of you up, up in Jacksonville at a meeting there, I was saying like, when you have a big base, you can build an enormous company. When you have a small base, obviously you can only build a small company. And what I saw with Partnico is they have a massive base. Does it mean it's easy? Absolutely not. But it's nothing that I haven't been doing for the last 20 years and a lot of people that I'm working with. And we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, but it's all leadership driven. So the more interested you are, and it's a lot of work. The more you go out of your way to mail products and we can get some growth happening. I think we told Fred that, you know, when it gets to like 50,000 a week, for sure, we'll open the Philippines. Maybe maybe less than that, maybe 50,000 a month. I, to me, I think that that would be notable to start doing all the registration. And for the Philippines, it's a fairly easy country because they don't have, have to have an MLM license. But the countries that we are in right now, I would really like to see those build because I they have such great potential. But what we have is we have a lot of Miranda leaders there who are very happy buying and selling Tahitian Noni. So that doesn't mean that there's really going to be an increase so much in the sales. They do bring on new customers, obviously, and they've maintained it. But it's got to the point now where they're all my age and drinking Tahitian Noni now has just become part of feeling energetic and young. And it's that they've it's part of their lifestyle. Um, and it's great that we have a product that people have been drinking for 21 to 24 years. And I know you guys just came back from Tahiti and know that even more of a story for the Tahitian Noni. So if you go somewhere like Singapore, Singapore is a retail market. It's not so much, there are networkers there and it's also a great springboard to China. There's a lot of Chinese people that go to Singapore to study. We have a very nice office in Singapore. People can go to the office. You can hold meetings in the office. They can actually distribute product in the office. So if there was a team building in Singapore, I would connect you with Wendy Yap, who's our country manager for Singapore. And we've got all these resources you can use to build. Singapore could be doing 20 times more than it's doing right now. We can also fairly easily get products in um, to Singapore. So NFR products, we can get them in from Hong Kong or we can send them in from LA fairly fairly quickly. So if the drops is where you want to build, um, they are not registered in Singapore. The drops are not registered in any of Asia Pacific. They're not even in Japan. The only place in Asia where they have the drops right now are Hong Kong and Australia and New Zealand. I am not sure if they were in Taiwan. It's not one of the markets that I manage, but you can go to their website. Is Australia's New Zealand day and night drops or our drops? Day and night is the UK version. Yep. It's but, the but, it, but, Hong, but China is our drops, correct? Uh, Hong Kong is our is the U.S. version. That's correct. Okay. And one of the reasons by is, you know, alcohol is not allowed in half those countries and the B vitamins are high too. And the word homeopathic, definitely they won't register them. But Australia has phenomenal weight loss. If you look at their weight loss testimonials, that's with the EU version. And then look at the EU on fire too. So both of them worked. And I personally have taken both. I started actually because I was in Australia <laughs> and I just joined this corporate group to, to get on the drops. 
And so Kim gave me the first day and night and I lost about 14 pounds with the first day, the AM and the PM. And then I switched to the US version. And I have to say, just taking one at lunch and one, it, they only have one dropper. So they take one at breakfast, one at lunch, and then they take one in the evening time and then they have a nighttime version. It's very simple. <laughs> it's simpler than waiting the 10 minutes, but it's, you know, each region where we sell the drops feels that their drops work the best. So they both work, which is great news. And very similar to the no dairy and the foods that you follow and your and your lifestyle program, that is identical. So is the pricing and so is the way that we sell the box of these drops as, as well. Um, I think the only thing that you hear more about the EU version is that they tend to have a little bit more of the night drops left over because they take the daytime three times a day as it's a little bit more balanced in the, the US version of the drops. But for all of you that are working with the EU or working with um, Asia or Australia or anything else like that, you will need to go on the website and click on the product sheet information on the day and night drops, just so you have the right story. And also when you're sending someone a PDF, you're sending them the correct information. It's and the same thing. Let me interject one thing there, because we have a lot of new people. If you don't know this on both the app and your website, when you click on shopping, everything's on the website. When you click on shopping, you'll have key ingredients and things under the product. You can also print the PDF off there. But if you change the flag to that country, that PDF will also change language to that country. So I know we were right. being asked about Belgium this morning, which is a French speaking country. Right. So if you clicked on Belgium, it would be a French speaking document. And the same for Singapore, you know, their language, all those kinds of things. So just well, know they that speak English. Don't. They're great. Singapore and Malaysia speak English. Yay. So, you know, that's, you don't have to worry. And as a matter of fact, English is an official language in Malaysia. So that's the great news of working in those countries. So is Australia and New Zealand. So you can think about where is your time best spent. If I were building international Todd, I would look at New Zealand and Australia because they have almost, you know, they have the drops, they have the program, they have Kim, who's a phenomenal general manager, who will go out of her way to help do meetings and build. We don't really need an office. So I don't really promote the office. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to, you know, we don't need the office. It's like the United States. It's so big. Where do you Lucy, put it Could you schedule her one IPA morning for Absolutely. us? Yeah. Yeah. I can, I will send you her contact information. She would love to do that. She is, okay. she's a better people person than I am. You know, like when you're looking at like goals for a country, I'm like, you know, I, I want to make sure that our operations is working and, and Kim is better relationship with the brand partners. So she's a, a great people person, which is important to our business. I think New Zealand is taking off. We've had 65% growth in New Zealand. It's just like crazy. And if I was going to visit anywhere in the world, I just came back. from. I, I went to New Zealand for like two days. I would love to go back there for a month. What a beautiful place to visit. And uh, they are amazing. And speaking to other networkers from other companies too, they've always mentioned how great New Zealand is because they love good products. They're very much into wellness products. So Australia, New Zealand, Kim manages both of those and we'll get her on with you. So those are good places. So you don't have to do this alone. We do have support people in every single country that can, can help you. As long as we are, as long as that country is on the drop down list. Todd, we just came out with a new Partnico one sheet. So that I can probably drop it in the chat when I'm done here. And one of the things that I find is that people will say, well, who's Darren? you know, Zobrist and John Wadsworth, they don't all know who they are. And this is a one sheet that gives a high level of who John and Darren are, you know, like you can see like the financial support and you can see the field support, which is what you want a networker to see because that's pretty unique in our industry. The second thing you want them to see is that we you know we have eight ways to get paid. We have a great comp plan. We have great products. Here's our icons and here's the countries we're in. That is what is on our brand new one sheet that I think they produced Last week, if you go to your share app, it might even be there, but I will send that over to you and uh, you can use that because I think that that's a really good reach out tool when you're starting to talk to people. And probably if you're talking to people in a foreign country, they probably are networkers and they're looking for an opportunity. They love the idea of being new, of being ground floor. And that's what it is in all of our countries. I would say Indonesia, it's just like, it's doing amazingly well with just Tahitian Noni and Max. 
those are the two products. As a matter of fact, it's just on with operations. We're desperately trying to get more product to them. They have it worked out. And we are also in the process of registering the drops. I don't know whether it'll be the US version. We will try that. We will then try the EU version or they're making a new version for Japan. But by the end of the year, we will have the drops in Indonesia and 25% of the people are overweight. So it will be a great business in Indonesia. Japan will have the drops by the end of the year, we hope as well. And that will be for, you know, like a lot of the people there are over the age of 50. So you've got, if they don't need to lose weight, which a lot of countries are not like the US, Australia is, they need to lose weight. But a lot of them, and like Thailand, most of the people there are fairly slim, but they need the hormone balancing side of our story. So don't forget, we've got two sides of the story for drops. So Singapore is really Tahitian Noni and, and Max and, and Vinali and a couple other products. You can go to the website. You can see what it has in English. The products are there. Do you know what Malaysia, they just lead with there and if they're going into Singapore or wherever? Tahitian Noni. Oh, I would, I would do what you can have somebody buy tomorrow. But in Australia and New Zealand, they're leading there oh, with drops, drops and nutrition. Drops nutrition. and elite. Elite, okay. Elite. You know, they've got me drinking this elite too. So, and I think it's because a lot, believe it or not, our, our base in, in Australia is a lot of young mums and they get stressed out. I just came back from babysitting my grandkids for a few days. Definitely stressful. I'd forgotten. <laughs> There's a two and a four-year-old. So Elite is a great product to have around. You know, it's it's very calming. It's good for your gut health. You know, when people get stressed or they get anxious, then usually the gut doesn't work and the Elite plays a huge role in making that. And so they also have Elite is a registered product as NFR is the drops, but we do it a little bit differently from other countries. We import huge crates of drops. And so they, they're they not like waiting for one person to, a box to show up in the post. It's there in a warehouse and we immediately get the drop shipped out to someone. So that's available in Australia. So yeah, Todd, I think you've talked to Kim and Kim will be in Orlando. So she is going to be there. And one of Kim's main purposes of coming to the PXP in Orlando is to meet with people and get you to come to Australia or build in Australia. So if we have a group there, she will be absolutely thrilled to meet and um, help help you expand Australia. And uh, our goal there is putting together incentive trips. So probably 2025, we'll be going to Malaysia to a very nice five-star hotel, probably in May. And people all, you know, that that will be like you going to the Bahamas. That's that part of the trip. And then we do a little bit of training and everybody comes together and that's all the APAC countries. So Malaysia only has Tahitian Noni juice. And Malaysia is a country where we are registering the drops by the end of the year. We're getting products in there. We really need to work. When I, the last company that I worked for, we did $12 million a year in Malaysia. So it has huge potential to what we're doing right now. So if you want to work in Malaysia, I probably need to know who you are. And then we only have Tahitian Noni juice and it's quite hard to get the products in there, but we know we need more and we will do so much more in sales. So it requires more work and time. Vietnam, Vietnam, we have Tahitian Noni juice on the ground. We have an office, we have a general manager. She's very good at reaching out and working with people. Um, we have space in the office for people to do little meetings and to do trainings. And which uh, city is that in? Uh, it's in, um, where is it in? Is it Ho Chi Minh? I think it's in the capital of Vietnam. So that's where we have our office. Um, and I'll just give you the contact information again. If somebody's interested and they have somebody from Vietnam, which is very likely in the United States because we have a huge Vietnamese community here. Are the drops in Vietnam? No, the drops are not in Vietnam. So what they do in Vietnam is if you, you and uh, we don't have an MLM license in Vietnam either. So we just have a business license and we're working on getting an e-commerce license. So what they do is they register, and I don't know if this is recorded. <laughs> don't share this. I, they, this one they is recorded, Lucy. This one is being recorded. Yeah, so they register through right Hong now. Kong. So this is the same thing Fred's doing with Philippines. You can go onto the Hong Kong website and uh, Fred is an expert at this now. He's got a PowerPoint on how to do that. So then, then they import and what the general manager of, of Vietnam is going to do is she's actually going to get them to send some bulk 
versions of the drops so that she can start using that. And just then when they order, she can get it to them a little bit quicker. But you can access the drops in Vietnam through Hong Kong. So that's available. And what about South Korea? South Korea, we are, it's a, it's complicated. So we're working on a couple of things. They have finale, they have, they have pure nourish, they have the Tahitian noni juice, which most of the sales are driven through the Tahitian noni juice in South Korea right now. We have a new consultant who's under Tim Sales, James, and he does a phenomenal job training on the compensation plan. We have a gorgeous office that is 100% Partnico. Like when you walk in there, it says Partnico and and you feel like and you, that you're at home right beside the office and it's in remember the the gangnam town <laughs> the gangnam dance <laughs> so you now know where the office is in south korea um and we are in the process of getting drops in some form or other because we understand that that would be a phenomenal product to get but you can't so we're hoping that we'll have the nfr set up by june that is our goal and uh, can you explain what that is to everybody that way and you know. nfr is not for retail we just mail it it comes in from the united states there is a certain minimum amount that you can ship in to, and it varies country to country so it's not standard but i believe it's like 150 dollars. you can ship into korea without customs stopping that product or charging someone who's going to receive that package taxes so if you were to like buy an ultimate pack and ship it into Korea, not a good idea. A, it would get stuck in customs. B, whoever was receiving that package would get a phone call like you need to pay $300 and they'll say, nope, I'm not going to do that. Now it's going to sit there, get destroyed or come back and it's a waste of money. So often um, for all of you that have been around the block and been in this industry for a long time and have tried all sorts of ways to build an international business, it's better just to get through it's better that they buy their starter pack in country, which in this particular case is going to be mostly Tahitian noni and they can drink it and they can sell it and they can do whatever they like. It's got some banali in it as well. And then they can get on their auto delivery or monthly, they can buy a product, ship it to your address and then you can mail it to them. If it's the drops in this case, the drops should get through. And we are doing everything we can to get um, NFR, which means we'll have it set up so that they can go on the website, they can buy it and we ship it in from LA or we ship it in. What we are going to do is be really strict about that in this particular package, they can only have that one item and then hopefully it's 100 PV. So we're looking to create 100 PV NFR packages that will go with, so that are under the $150 and include the tax and the shipping and stuff like that. This Saturday morning's training on products, we're going to really feature Noni and Vanali. Because John and Christioki were here with me when we watched China come to life and start doing a hundred million dollars a year in yeah. revenue. And they're yeah. really the only product they were selling was Vanali. That was their lead product. So we're going right. to go through that. They're leading what and 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 the girl that's making a hundred thousand dollars a week over there now, she win. Yeah. She now drops with it. But but Vanali is still a key component because it, they call it the beauty pill. And we'll go through all that on Saturday. That they they do in in Italy. I mean, you know, the cellulitis, everything that Vinali does. But Vinali is in Korea, so that's a great one to do for Korea as well. And then we have amazing support in country. We do director training every three months. They participate in our incentive trips, so all of that works, and it's pretty exciting. And they have a group of ladies over there called the the Noni Dance Team, <laughs> and uh, they have a, they have a lot of fun at doing the business. Hopefully, if you speak Korean. It is quite hard if you don't speak Korean. I don't speak Korean. I have to have a translator. So, you know, if you've got a couple of people on your team that speak Korean that can help you, that's a, a, a huge advantage. And the same thing with Vietnam and Thailand. It's hard to find people who speak English. You're saying uh, Singapore, Malaysia, New Zealand, oh, they and speak English. Those are the four easy ones. Yeah. yeah, those are the four easy ones. Exactly. And Hong Kong, a lot of people speak English as well. And if you want to build in Hong Kong, we're fully set up in Hong Kong. That's not one of the countries I manage. But Fion is phenomenal as a country Even manager. him too, Lucy. I, I've not had the pleasure of meeting him yet. Could you arrange to get him on a call with us one morning? Her. It's Fion is a, is a her. I can definitely do that. So you want Fion and you want Kim. So I will come Any morning they give us. Our IPA call starts at 9, 15, or 10, 15 your time Eastern. So we can do it right at 10, 15. 
if they want to, yeah. or we can do it at like 11, like you're doing it, whatever they'll give us. But one of those, oh, well, times the best. it would be like one in the morning for them or two in the morning. So we'll have to figure yeah. it out. Australia is a little bit you, different. You They're find a time morning. for them and we'll just do a, we'll get Brett Palmer to do a special call. Uh, that sounds like a good, that sounds like a good idea. They're better at like eight o'clock in the morning or something like that. Okay. So. Yeah. You just get yep. us a time from him and then Australia okay. hey, will use on this one. Hey, Lucy, what's the name of the one sheet? I was going to look it up in the Partner Co. Share app and see if it's there. It should say about part, Nicole. Okay. It's not there yet. There you go. I just just, just looked at it and I see it. You did see it? No, it's not there yet. They have it before and they're revising it. It's a great, great tool. Okay. All right. So we will do that because I was just like, I can quickly show you what it looks like, I think. I was just working on the comp plan. So that seems to be the biggest thing. So let me see if I can, um, do you mind if I share? Can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're co-host. Um, as Todd knows, I love sharing information. Sorry, I don't mean to hijack this call. This is your call. You're not hijacking anything. We're all <laughs> here for you. Yeah, we want it. <laughs> all right. So this is what they just came out. So this is the new company, Partnico. So it talks a little bit about Darren. It talks a little bit about John. Unique opportunity, eight ways to get paid, the company facts. And this is great for a brand new person who doesn't really know how to talk about Partnico. Like, you know all about it. Like, Todd could do this in his sleep on all of you that have been doing that. But for a brand new person who joins up this week, like, what do they know about the company and how do they need to share something? And again, it's when people ask me, you know, hey, what are you doing now? And who's... Who's Darren and who's John? And then I'm able to say this, send this out. And it's just, you know, like, you know, when we're whale hunting or when when you, people want information, it's because they want to something that they can share with their leaders. Like nobody makes a move by themselves. They want to make a move with their team in place or they want people to feel good about what they do. So this is just enough information that nobody needs to spend more than 30 seconds on it. And uh then the second sheet looks like this. So here's where it has about our products. It has the icons and here's the countries that we're in. So that's what our one sheet is. And the rest the rest is up to you, but it's just enough of a taste that uh, most of the people I've shared this with get pretty excited about, about that. So, and this, that, that gets updated. And the other one we're working on updating is this one, which is in the Share App 2, which was mostly designed for somebody brand new, just sitting down and trying to get somebody started on the comp plan that don't know a lot, which if you gave somebody, if you went over the entire compensation plan, it's kind of like giving someone a drink with a fire hose. As this, you know, you can you can write down, you know, like how many hours a week you want to work the business and like who are the 10 people that you're going to contact. But this needs a lot of updating. So those are the two sheets that I like I like working on because it helps our the companies, the little com- countries get started. And I know that all the information they're sharing is the accurate information. Like we said, we did 280 million in 2022 because it documents, we haven't put our 2023, which was over 300 million. We haven't put that in there yet, but we know now we don't have, you know, like 500 million, a billion dollars and all over the place or 150, like it's, it's a little bit more accurate. And that makes the consistency is what makes a company really good. So consistency of information, consistency of the way people share. That's, you know, as a matter of fact, we were in Australia at a, at a dinner and I remember I was talking about superpowers. Like my granddaughter asked me last week, hey, grandma, what's your superpower, you know? And um, and I said, well, I'm tenacious. I think that that's my superpower. I'm really tenacious. <laughs> John Wadsworth. So we asked John Wadsworth. We said, John, what's your superpower? And he sat there thinking about it. And he goes, consistency. I'm consistent. And I thought, well, that's a great superpower for an owner of a company to have. We want consistency. And I think if you ask Todd and all of you that have been with all the change that happened before Partnico and after, I think that's what makes people grow. You know, it's like a garden constantly getting water and, you know, tr- taken care of and stuff like that. So I think Partnico is in a really good place. And uh, so 
I don't really feel like we've got consistency all over Asia Pacific yet because we only have Tahitian noni juice. And I think once we get in line with the rest of the world and we can have the drops in those countries and you can build your business and you can get people out there retailing the way it's working in the United States, I think we'll see a big spike in sales. So we're just building a foundation over there. We're keeping the existing brand partners who are doing really well. I mean, mind blowing what they're doing with the just the Tahitian noni. But they're also excited and they're young. They're, a lot of them are younger too, especially in Indonesia. They're excited for what the future will bring with Partnico. Um, and so am I. So am I. Do you speak Indonesian English speaking also? Indonesia speaks Indonesian. Okay. Oh, Bahasa. I'm, that is another country that you need somebody who speaks their language. Okay. Um, so Malaysia and Singapore manager, both speak English. Malaysia and Singapore both speak English. So in Indonesia, our general manager does speak English. And so does our event planner, Diane, who's who's lovely. So she can help people. And I think Alicia too, in the office, they they speak English. So if you were to go over there, which is a beautiful country to visit, they have Bali, Indonesia, um, then, then they can help you out with the English as well. But again, if you're going to build over there, you really need to find somebody who's bilingual. And hopefully your prospect that you're finding in the US is, is bilingual because, you know, paying for a translator every time you have a call or you can do webinars where you can have a translator on, they can translate. I think you can do your webinar so that they it also will do subtitles in the language. I haven't messed around with it that much, but that's that's a cheaper way of doing translation. It might not be 100% accurate, but it's good enough to, to do that. So, and Thailand is just Tahitian Noni and they just got the skincerity. So they have some skincerity in Thailand as well. Remember the product that people were using for acne and for, you know, just great for skin rejuvenation. So they have those two products. So I know that there are some new teams that are looking to start building in Thailand. We would like to get the drops into Thailand as well. So I think we're waiting for the new version that they'll do for Japan. And then we will register that in Thailand. And then they will have a version of the drops there too. The so Singapore, Malaysia, English speaking, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, you need a translator, definitely. Korea, you need a translator. Korea, we are doing something very unique there. And that's for the last year, we've been working on producing Omega Q in Korea. Not only does it have incredible facilities for manufacturing products, as a matter of fact, Amway makes all of its Asia Pacific products in Korea. Um, to have somebody over there, but Omega and anything to do with fish oil or whatever, it's it's just got a very high level. And they've approved our ingredients with the Tahitian Noni of our great Omega Q. And if you've ever listened to Barbara Cox or anybody talking about the Omega Q, you know how important that is for cardiovascular health and just for your skin and everything. So I believe in July, we will have our very own Korean Omega Q and that will be in Korea. So that can be part of either the drops with Omega Q or however you want to promote that. But having our own product means we're never gonna run out. The requirements to get a product into Korea are just ridiculously difficult. So NFR, we see that happening. We hope we can register drops. If not, at some time as our sales grows, we'll have to make those in Korea too. But it's a start by doing our Omega. And uh, Partnico has the most incredibly um, difficult product development team to work with. <laughs> Their idea of quality control is higher than anything I've seen in the other three companies that I've worked for. <laughs> you know, to they they have to send someone to the site. They have to inspect everything, every step along the way. So when they talk about quality control and partner, I guarantee we have the best quality control in our industry. It's mind blowing. They test it. I've heard them go through entire uh, you know, after they've manufactured something, they've gone through each package and checked it. They're 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 crazy, but that's why our products. This consistency comes back. Product consistency is important. Our quality control, and when we're making products, the lab that we make them in has to meet all the halal, halal certificate, TGA certified, and that we found with being able to produce Omega. So that's exciting for Asia Pacific because that means that that product in the future will be easier to get into the other countries too. 
Thank Love you. you. Are there any questions that popped in the chat? Ken, I, I'm not able to see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. Okay. One of them asked, uh, the drop, did you mention the drops are, at, are in Australia? Yes, they are. Yep. Day and night, European version. Day and night. Okay. And New Zealand and Hong Kong. Hong Kong has the U.S. version. U.S. version, okay. And uh, people are asking, can we get a copy of the that sheet that you posted? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I can't find the chat. I don't know why I can't find the chat. <laughs> Hey, Anthony, you can upload that. There is a place on researchmoa.com that you can upload. I, I, I'm going to send it to you, Tom. <laughs> Todd. But just send it to me and I'll get it to Anthony. And Anthony yep. will get it uploaded to Research Moa under documents yep. and it'll be there yep. in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. As soon as as soon as soon we get up, I'll, I'll, I'll send that one over. And I'd like feedback. I think that that's one of those sheets that's really important, especially like for whale hunting or whatever you want to call it. And I think we can just keep making it better and better, Todd. But you know, as long as like you're talking to someone who's interested and they can like, oh, great, I can share this with all of my leaders. And if they're interested now, you can get a whole team coming over. Wow. Yes. One last thing I wanted to share with everybody, since all the questions are out of the way, is they're in Australia and New Zealand. They're building on social media the exact same week, way we are. For those at PXP last year, you guys heard the one girl from Australia that's just blowing TikTok up. So you can actually like direct your social media into those countries to recruit. So like you don't have to just know somebody, know somebody like do some different things there to advertise. I mean, I'm speaking only from a personal level. I find it increasingly difficult and strenuous on my time to go into a country without a leader that speaks their language. But those four countries that speak English, Singapore, Malaysia, New Zealand, and Australia would be four countries that I would really want to focus on and, and get a leg and Hong Kong and get a leg maybe one day in each one of those countries. I mean, that's a million dollars a year in other countries if you get four or five legs built. And it just takes one right person in that country. You support them, go over, pour into them. Those countries always love when you put somebody from the United States in their business. So if you start one on a pay line and you're recruiting here, sticking U.S. people in their business, especially the Chinese, uh, they love that. It really fires them up. So just we'll kind of guide you along the way as you get doing that to help you really blow it up. Well, if anybody on your call is in Vancouver, Canada, or Toronto, or LA, you have a massive Asian community right there. You can start Atlanta. Your yeah, I mean Atlanta, New York, place. Dallas. Oh, huge! And, and I remember in my last company, somebody started the UK through somebody in a Chinese restaurant, and it was just like crazy. So the fact that we have a license again, don't forget that part that we have a license in mainland China, which makes us different from 90% of the companies out there. Explain the importance of that, Lucy. I tried to, but I don't think I do it justice. Yeah. So in the, in the experience of my last company, we did like $80 million a month in China without having a license and that all fell apart. So you can imagine you're living like king of the world or queen of the, of your, you know, like of your, of your neighborhood, because you've got this incredibly powerful teams underneath you and it all falls apart. We do not want that to happen at Partnerco. When I left that company, I thought I am not working for a company that does not have a license in mainland China because there's a billion people there. There's only what, 270 million in the United States. So you want access. That's a huge amount of people. So we have a license and it's the Tahitian Noni license that we have there. And we also have the the Eric's products are going in there as well. And we're working on getting all of those registered under the Miranda. And they've got Yuru is our president who you should have on probably one of your calls as well. Is, we want him. A, that's the one we want. We want that president. It, yeah. You, we'll take him tomorrow. You just tell him to give us what time he can do it. Yeah. Uh, and what day. And we will adjust accordingly, whatever he gives us. I'll just say Yuru, super powerful power ranker. Todd Roland wants you. <laughs> We are there. <laughs> I, think, I think this IPA time works really well uh, because I think this is like evening time, their time. I mean, aren't they right at 12 well, he's hours? In, he's in Utah, so you can have him oh, in Utah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we would love him yep. at uh, the same time or, or or at IPA, whichever one's easier on him, either yep. um, 8 he 15 or 9 a.m. Hong Kong, Taiwan, and China. He's from Shanghai, China. I've worked with him before. Katie Holt Larson's worked with him before. Super guy. Super guy, you know, and you got again. You need somebody bilingual, but he also he will definitely. I'll get him. I'll get. As a matter of fact, here. Him, give us. I need a week leeway on him because Shu Lin that was with us in Tahiti wants to come on our call too, 
And that would yeah. be a great kind con- because we need a good track because she can speak no English. So if we had him and Shu Lin the same day, that would be incredible. Now, well, I'll, I'll just connect you. Time to get her lock in. I'll connect you and uh, you can reach out and talk to him and figure it mm-hmm. out, you know, but he's usually when it comes to one of our top power rankers, <laughs> we usually, you know, like pull out all the stops and say, OK. <laughs> um, hey, we'll Tom, I, would re- Tom, I would highly recommend that one sheet for people to get it for their meetings. Yeah, you know, we, we had that before, and, and especially when you have big meetings and you're as a leader, you're not able to get to everyone. I had two different people, Todd, that had that sheet that got a hold of me afterwards. Said Ken, it was too busy to talk to you, but they were so impressed with what was on that sheet. So make sure you get that for your events, folks. Yeah, I'm a big believer. Although I know we're in the digital age, like that particular sheet, I would go somewhere and make you a couple hundred copies of it, and that's something you always leave behind. And that pay plan sheet too. I want to go through it before I recommend it. Make sure how yeah. that layout is, but it looked fairly good the glance I got. But that's yeah. another one that we'd want to leave behind. That pay plan sheet and that are two great leave behinds. I'd like I, to work with you on that, Todd, if we can, just to fix it up, because I think we okay. do need a, a bit more of a map where people can put in and they can figure out what they're going to make. Like, how do I make 300 bucks? Here you go. Send that to, send that to us and Brent and I will get some people together. and We'll kind of go through how we share it with people. We'll, yeah. lay, we'll draw it out for you and send it back. And then y'all can. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't, it does. I don't think it's really good. The results that we want it to have bothering to send that one around, but the other one, definitely the one sheet has, and it's, and it's working pretty good right now. I will send that off to you guys. And by the way, Tom, I saw it yesterday. I looked at it yesterday to use, and it's not updated. It doesn't have the newest ultimate to no. and goal on yeah. it. Yeah, it's not updated. It would be no. fabulous if that part's updated. I was going to crop it off and just use it, but everybody needs it. We need it desperately. But maybe we should take it down right now and then update it. That's a good yes. thing, Michelle. We'll do that. Yes. Okay. So you actually have Lucy on this call right now. Listen, you have at least ten of the top 25 in the world are on this call right now. Wow. So it's not just myself what at a all. privilege. It's a big team effort. <laughs> and we have the best leaders, of course, the nicest ones. They all get along well. <laughs> but it's kind of global, Todd. It's really- You out the ones that don't like people. Well, they go to another company, I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she- I, I've got a theory behind that though, and seeing as we have that top powerful people, and that is when a company buys leaders, You get people who are just driven by the money. You know, when they say in the Bible, you know, it's like the love of money. Yeah. (laughs) So when you have to build organically and you have to come in and when you have a pay plan that pays at the front end enough, the reason other companies buy people is because their pay plan doesn't pay enough up front and, you know, they're not going to have enough money. But when you have something like Partnerco, where you have a product that you can sell and you can make a couple thousand dollars in your first month if that's what you need to do, that makes the difference. So you get people who are willing to put in the effort, who understand the value of being able to empower all their new people that come on board because they're going to be able to help them make, you know, the 800 or the thousand very quickly as well, rather than people who are just like, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm important. I'm getting, you know, a couple thousand dollars just from the company in order to get started. Um, and if people do want to onboard people and put their own money into it, that's up to the leaders. It's not done by the company. And that to me means you get a healthier group of brand partners who all have done the same work and it's an even playing field for everyone. And what a difference that makes in the world of network marketing. So I think healthy is so important. And that's what I feel that we have with Partnico. We have a very healthy company and we have two very healthy um, owners, you know, John and Darren work hard. So they figure everyone else can work hard. And when people work hard, you've earned it. It makes you feel really good. So like if Asia Pacific can grow, I will feel really good. <laughs> We're going to try to help. Yes. Thank you, Lucy, yes. for yes. your yes. time this Thank morning. You. And thank you. Listen, everybody out there, a lot of you have been on for an hour um, plus now. In the morning time, many of you at work, so always a sacrifice. Those that sacrifice generally get the rewards. But I, I listen, I never forget uh, what it's like trying to do this and and work and manage kids. It's like it's like there's very little time left to sleep, much less watch TV or read a book. Those things just have to go to the sideline for a little while. But all of you are to be commended for hanging out all morning. Big, big learn. It'll help you. You never know. Like you could be sitting here thinking that doesn't affect me. 
and tomorrow one person shows up and everything changes. And that's the reason we had Lucy because it was starting to happen a lot and I don't have the answers either. I needed them myself. So thank you, Lucy, for coming and sharing. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. <laughs> Thank Love you your so story. Much. All right. Bye.